Hello, my Disney friends. So glad to see you guys here today. Uh, just a little warning, if you hear some loud rumbling in the background, we are currently experiencing major thunderstorms here in Arizona. So my apologies for the extra background noise, but um, we're gonna push through anyway. So I am gonna do one exciting thing. Well, it's all exciting if it's Disney, but um, I'm going to open this bad boy. I have a Wishables and it's um, a blind bag and it's specifically themed to the Country Bear Jamboree, which is one of my all time favorite shows ever. Like I love anything Country Bear. So we're going to open it and see which one I got. I, can't, I just can't wait. Um, and then we're going to talk about our or my Disney Park must haves for packing on a trip in 2020 post pandemic. So stay tuned. Welcome back. So glad you came back. You wanted to see what I was going to say. Yay. Um, so I'm your host, the bariatric blonde shell, and you're watching Destination Disney because let's face it guys all roads lead to Disney right so I mean you wouldn't be watching if you didn't think that I guess so um, so if you're new here please hit the subscribe button below and give us a thumbs up I would really appreciate that I like for you to receive a notification when the new content is released so um, there's gonna be some fun exciting stuff happening you don't want to miss it moving right along let's get to the excitement in the air i have been waiting for a few days to open this wishables blind bag because i love anything country bear and it's really hard actually to find country bear jamboree items so um when i saw this on shop disney i immediately used my phone and ordered a couple of them i got one for my daughter as well for her birthday so she loved it i also got her the big owl so you could just purchase the big owl wishable and then you have the blind bag which looks like this and you can get any one of the four so we have henry teddy bearra so cute uh, baby Oscar and Bunny Bubbles and Beulah. So these are the four that you could potentially get in the bag. Yay. I, I don't know. I like Baby Oscar and Bunny Bubbles and Beulah. So, but Teddy Bear is good too. I don't know. Can you lose? I don't think so. Let's see what I got. Let's see this open. Oh, I got the same one my daughter got actually. Baby Oscar. So cute. I love that these wishables are so soft to the touch. Oh my gosh. They, isn't he adorable? Are you kidding me? I can't wait to display him. So yay. Definitely a, a plus for my day. So moving along, let's discuss what will be in my bag and my packing cubes <laughs> in my luggage um, and in my park bag um, for this upcoming trip we leave in exactly seven days that's a week you guys oh my gosh so excited i really feel like my family and i desperately need this vacation we need to just get away it's been a heck of a, a roller coaster not the fun kind not like screaming in disney california roller coaster not like space mountain i mean like yuck a bad roller coaster so um we are excited to go in seven days and head towards the tucson international airport uh, we will be staying for eight days on our trip so it's longer than we usually take typically we do about five days at disney world um but we wanted some extra time we actually added in one day just a day of rest to just chill and so i'm um, really looking forward to it so this is what i will pack in my luggage so let's begin with the airplane ride right so um planes can be kind of chilly and i loathe being cold on a plane like the air's blowing on you you're like there's just literally no way to get warm so i always bring a thin jacket nothing heavy just a thin jacket to wear on the plane and also for the ride back. I will, I know in Disney World, it's Florida, it's September, it's hot and humid, right? So I'm not gonna need it 
uh, any other time. I won't need it in the evening. If I were going to Disneyland, I would need my jacket in the evening. But because I'm going to Disney World, I will not need it. So um, I'm just going to use it for the plane ride. I really debated with myself, could I just push through, you know, and not have this less I have to pack my luggage. Um, but I'm going to take it because I just remember a few flights that I didn't pack one and I was miserable. So I don't want to go through that. So I will take this lovely jacket this is my i got this last year i think at the disney california food and wine festival i don't know if you can read it or not yeah 2019 so it's 2019 so this is it's a thin hooded jacket and one of the things i actually really like is the um it's really creative of disney to do this uh, but they put the little thumb holes in the sleeve there so i can you know just hook on and still use my hands if i'm chilly so that's really nice so that's one of the number one things i will not forget is to make sure i have my thin jacket for the plane ride um and then also let me find it there's so much oh gosh who travels without neck pillow gotta have my neck pillow um i have scoliosis in my spine and up to my neck so i do get a lot of neck pain i really have to be careful to not make a spasm situation happen so this pillow um is kind of thinner if you, if you can see how it gets thinner right there around the neck area um it was recommended to me by several people to get a pillow like that because the pillow i had before was really thick all around and it would cause my head to sit at a weird angle and that would cause muscle spasms super painful i don't want to deal with pain on my trip so not doing that again so yes got my pillow let's talk luggage things i must have in my luggage now i'm not going to go over like every single hygiene item we all know there are body wash shampoo conditioner in the hotel rooms we're staying on site at pop century resort so i know those things are available there um, so i don't have to pack as much but there are some things that i feel like are must-haves that need to be in my luggage and i'm gonna start with something as simple as this so these are my packing cubes. I, I heard this on a Disney podcast. I listen to tons of podcasts, you guys. I absolutely love it. And I especially love the Disney podcast. So I heard the ladies talking about that they always, always use packing cubes because it makes their lives easier. And I thought, well, what is it about these packing cubes? It's just so wonderful. Um, and then I did it on my last trip in March. I used my packing cubes and oh my gosh, it, it just really organized and simplified my life. So I don't think I will ever travel without packing cubes. In fact, that's one of the wonderful gifts we gave my daughter this year for her birthday was a set of Disney really cute Mickey Mouse uh, packing cubes. So this is kind of what one of them looks like. There's This is a set of six or seven. So this is like the, well, one of the larger sizes right here. And they're really cheap on Amazon. And so inside there are several more different sizes. Like they get smaller as they go. And I'll pack like, let's say this is just um, shirts. So I'll roll up my shirts and put all my shirts in here. Um, this one may go for shorts and leggings. And then there's also a shoe bag in here, which is really cool. Um, so I'll fill all these up, roll up my clothes, fill them up and stack them in my suitcase so that everything's organized so when i want to pull i just literally see the little handles is so cool i just pull it out slide it into the drawer the, the dresser drawer in the hotel room and there you go it's just that simple so it just really organizes things i'm not like trying to pair things up later where's a shirt i thought it has six shirts no i didn't that sort of thing um i am taking two suitcases because we're flying southwest this is why we fly southwest because we can check in two bags so i'm taking a large suitcase and then a smaller suitcase the smaller suitcase is more for souvenirs so that i can bring those back and i'm taking a carry-on bag like a weekender bag and then um, a small backpack as my purse item so i will have a, a lot of luggage my husband's simple he takes one suitcase <laughs> but me i need a lot so um yes i need to maximize my space in the luggage you know girls we need a lot of stuff come on so so talking about you know we're on the subject of clothing and 
packing in our suitcase. So one of the things I like to do, and this is why I roll my clothes, I don't care if it gets wrinkled. I know there's a big debate. Do you fold and stack in the cube or do you roll your clothes? There's kind of a debate about that. I roll to maximize my space because I take this handy dandy, absolutely love this guy, a travel steamer. It's really small as you can see and I'll just fill it up to the fill line, plug it in within 10 seconds maybe, it's blowing out steam, and I just steam my clothes, good to go. Don't have to carry a, carry a, a little bit about wrinkles because I'm good to go. So um, I always travel with my little travel steamer. Does It's not heavy, doesn't take up a lot of space, and I always feel nervous about using irons at hotels even Disney hotels. <laughs> there are too many times I have ruined a favorite shirt or a favorite piece of clothing because I used an iron that I thought looked clean at a hotel and there's actually something sticky and it stained my shirt or burned it. So I just, I'm just like so over that happening that I just pack my handy dandy travel steamer and I'm ready to go. So that is the luggage situation. So in my luggage, these, I know a lot of people love the Dollar Tree ponchos so we're going in in uh, september and we are guaranteed to have some rain during our trip so um i already know i've gone in september before and it rained every single day maybe just for 10 minutes maybe for an hour but it's a short rain it's not you know ridiculously long but um you do need to be prepared and we don't want to like pause our activities because it's raining we want to keep going so I purchased these for $5 because I know this brand is really, it's a tougher material. It's not so thin. It won't rip when I'm getting on and off rides. And I wanted something that was a little bit longer towards my knees. It would cover my bottom when I'm getting on wet rides. So um, I got these ponchos. I got one for each of us and it's by Totes. I'm sure you know who Totes is. They make the umbrellas. But what I liked was this lovely little clip-on uh, mesh bag that it comes in. So when I'm done with it, I can fold it up and put it back in the bag in my backpack. So it's not just like all rolled up in one big wad of a mess, oh, it drives me nuts. And that's what I've had to deal with in the past. So this, I have a little bitty bag to put it back in and we're good. Okay, that's a must, gotta have the rain poncho. Let's see what else is in my lovely, I've got so much you guys. Oh, must have band-aids must have band-aids uh, i'm known for getting a hot spot on one of my toes during every trip <laughs> and there's nothing like walking with a blister no thanks i don't want a blister so um this particular brand is just the walmart equate brand but it has some type of medication it's for blister toe specifically it locks up the moisture so i don't know if it'll be any different than just a regular band-aid i have both types but i always make sure i have um, a few of them in my backpack uh, just in case i'm walking through the day and i'm like oh i feel something starting to hurt so don't want that happening okay so that's that um i will also pack um pepto -Bismol. I always take a small little travel size one because uh, there's nothing like feeling miserable or you over and your tummy feels yucky. Um, I like to just have that on hand, just pull it out of my backpack and take a swig or maybe my daughter needs it or my husband. So um, I always pack a little bit of Pepto or even the chewable pills is fine. So whichever works. Okay, and for the room, gotta have these guys, coffee. Coffee is a must. You can see I got it at Ross for like a super cheap price of $3.99 for a whole pack, so I got a couple of them. Um, the Via Instant Coffee really does, to me, taste like brewed coffee. And I must have at least one cup of coffee every morning before I even get rolling out the door, so must have. So yes, I will use this. Maybe the hot water in the room will be, you know, I'll just use that uh, because we will have a few pods in the room, but I just really don't want to bother with housekeeping. I just want to have my own stuff on hand so some these were um Haynes brand i ordered them online and of course we are taking the thin medical blue mask everybody says that's the way to go it's more breathable i have asthma and so i do struggle to get air as it is so i don't want to have to fight through a thick cotton mask so i will definitely start off with the blue medical mask but as the days go go by you know like 
if I get on a wet ride or I'm just sweating through it and my I've already used say my second medical mask we have these as a backup they're pretty cool looking like your nose is right there and your mouth there and it's pretty pretty thin material um, it's almost like a kind of like a sock but I love this material and you just strap it on your ears here we go there we go like so good to go so I, I liked I, I kind of sampled them a little bit walking around to make sure they were breathable and they are they kind of remind me of the material used in net gators which is what we use here at home whenever we go in and out of stores we just pull it up pull it down but I know Nick Gators are not allowed at Disney World. So this is the second best option. So we'll have these as a backup in case anything would go wrong with um, our medical mask. We have these cute little guys, Emoji Sanitizer Wipes, Antibacteria Wet Wipes. So I will use this to totally sanitize my plane seat, the pull down table, any touch points on the plane is really what this is for. I will also, I have a few of these. Um, I have a travel size Lysol spray as well. And I'm going to use that in our hotel room and wipe down all the touch points on our hotel room uh, area as well. So that's the plan there. Okay. So this is going to be one of those items that will go in my backpack. So must have a power bank, an extra power bank. Everything is on your smartphone now. Literally, if you breathe, you need to use an app. Like that's how Disney is right now. So to eat, to do anything, we need our smartphones. So I don't want to drain my phone throughout the day and not have a backup battery. So ta-da, got these super cheap, like for $10 at uh, Target. So happy to have those. Also going, this is going in the backpack, guys. Ta-da, body glide. Sorry for the glare. Body Glide Anti-Chafe Balm. Must have it in Florida humid hot weather. Nobody wants thigh rage. <laughs> that horrible burn. Nobody wants it. So I will have this in my backpack so that if anybody needs it, you can slip in the bathroom and rub away. In the backpack, scrunchies. Uh, must have scrunchies or a hair tie or something because from what I've been told by everybody, and I had already planned to do it anyway, you want to wear your hair up. It's going to be hot. I love my curls. There will probably be some days that I do wear my curls like on our free days, um, but I do plan to wear my hair up in a pony or a messy bun quite a bit. So I'm going to need some of these. So I'm definitely going to have those packed and ready to go. In my park bag, chapstick. Must have chapstick. Um, everyone says that you and I have experienced it myself just walking around town your lips get really dry you get kind of parched wearing that mask breathing it, it seems like you just mouth breathe more wearing a mask I noticed that about myself so you want your lips to be soft and supple so make sure you have a, a chapstick in there some sort of lip gloss whatever works for you and this lovely thing one guess about what that is I love that it clips it has a little clip hook I got this on my last trip to Disney World, and this is Disney World hand sanitizer. Yes. So I use this all the time at home, too. Everybody says, where did you get that? Because I clipped it on my purse. Um, but I will have this all refilled, ready to go, so that I can have it, just clip it right on my backpack and have it ready to go. And just on and off the ride, I'll just use it real quick. So can never have enough sanitizer. And then this is, I have one medication that I take. These are my vitamin pill packs. And I have all my vitamins. This is for one day. So this is, today is Saturday. So this is Saturdays. Um, so I have this. It will stay in my hotel room most likely. And I'll load up in the morning. And then in the evening when I come back, I'll take the rest. So um, you want to keep your vitamin levels up to help build that immunity. Especially if you already take vitamins and then you stop taking them. That can really be dangerous. So you don't want to do that. I mentioned the scoliosis. Got to have biofreeze love these bad boys these are the little travel on the go singles or like wipes um and you use them i use them on my back or on my neck um if say i've been jarred around quite a bit on a ride when i get back to my hotel room i'm like where's the biofreeze <laughs> so i'll just wipe myself down and i mean it works so 
fast, so fast, and no weird smell. Like, it's really nice. So I definitely have those packed. Now, this is a pretty neat thing. In my last video, I discussed the fact that we're celebrating my daughter's birthday because today is literally her birthday. Happy birthday, Bella. Um, so I have in this folder some photos of Miss Bella, the birthday girl, um, and I'm going to use this to decorate our resort room window. So I'm going to do the happy birthday sign and I'm going to have some photos of my Bella through the years as we visited the different Disney parks. We started going when she was 18 months old. I have never regretted taking her as a baby. She had a great time and so did we. Um, I always tell people, they say, should I take the baby or should I wait till they're six or seven or eight? No way. There's never a bad time to go to Disney. Take them when they're young. She had a great time. She's been going every year, at least once a year, since she was 18 months old. I don't regret it at all. Zero regrets. And then I have um, some really neat, I ordered all kinds of stuff to decorate the window with, like some die cut materials. But I also ordered this from Michael's. It's scrapbooking, as you can see. So cool. So I can use some of these little, um, like it says magical memories right here. You've got the Disney stuff here. I mean, there are so many neat pages that I can put her photos on, use them as a backdrop, use them to decorate the window. So um, I feel like, ah, that's good to go. Got everything I need there for the decorating. And of course, I will have video of the windows. I want you guys to see the final product. This is the first time, guys, that I've decorated my resort window. So I'm super excited about that. I will say in the past when I've gone to Disneyland, I've gone to Disneyland many more times than I've gone to Disney World because it's an eight hour drive for us. Um, in fact, we're planning to go in December if the governor does end up opening up the theme parks. Um, but there, I never see people decorate their windows. I have at the Disneyland Hotel seeing people decorate their doors, which is really cute. But it's really not as common at Disneyland from what I've ever seen. Um, at Disney World, it's way more common. So, and I love it. I just, I love walking back and forth to my room and seeing all of the amazing creativity that people use to decorate their doors and windows. So um, that is luggage stuff. Of course, there's, there's hygiene items that are gonna go in there. Um, so in my makeup bag as well will be, I love this stuff. It's called Original by Riddle and it's just a perfume body oil if you can see that, hopefully, there we go. It smells so fresh and clean, you guys. I love it. Um, and it's a roller ball. Mm, yes, it's a roller ball. So it's, you know, it's tough glass. I don't have to worry about it accidentally leaking anywhere. Um, in the past, I've also taken perfume lotion because that's just easy to travel with. Um, so that will stay in the room, but I wanted to make sure I had a little something because you get warm and sweaty and ew. So I wanted to have that. Uh, can't forget sunblock, must have sunblock. I use a 70, I burn really bad. I know it's weird, brown skin. I burn to a red crisp. They call me Kool-Aid kid sometimes. So um, I always, always apply sunblock, even if it looks overcast and rainy. You won't get me, I'll be ready to go. So I have plenty of sunblock. Plus we're planning to swim uh, whenever we can, whenever we're back at the room, and have, and especially in our free day. So I wanna make sure we have plenty of sunblock. So I'll probably pack a few different ones now. I can't find it, it's in a grocery bag somewhere. But I found some of the Bear Republic um, sunblock and it's just for your face and it's, it's diamond dust. So I guess it gives you a sparkle. So listen guys, if you see someone walking around the parks in the next couple weeks, that looks like a sparkling diamond, that's me. Please stop and say hi. I am a social butterfly. I love to talk to people. If you come up to me and be like, hey, I saw you on YouTube. I'll be like, hey, I love it. It doesn't weird me out at all. I think it's super cool. So I'll be the one with the diamond sparkled face looking like a gem probably, but um, still say hi. It may look kind of weird. It's weird, but it's not like creepy weird. It's, it's a cool, fun weird, you know? So that will be me. 
Um, I'm taking a few of my hair products. I really try to be minimalist or simple in my packing. Like, do I absolutely have to have this? Because I'd rather have room for souvenirs. But do I need to have it? Well, there are a few hair products that I need to have. I mean, look at this hair, guys. It's a lot of hair and it's curly. So um, I love the OI hair care products. They are kind of expensive, but they're items that last a long time. So I must have this in humid or hot weather. I love this. It's the Curl Jelly. You see that? Love it because it's a two for, two for one. So you put it in your hair and it acts like a great curling jelly to activate the curls, but it also acts like a, a light gel hold, which I need in humid weather unless I want a big poof of a frizz ball on my head, which I don't. So this is a twofer. It's two items basically in one. It leaves me more space to pack other items. So love that. And last but not least, my travel size Oribe dry texturizing spray. This will help with my volume. Uh, I like to have a little bit of a poof in my hair, a little bit of volume going on there, not just flat and blah, you know. So this helps you spray a little bit wherever you want more volume and you got it. So um, it's small, travel size, compact. I love it. So those are my must have beauty items. Now this is a neat thing. I saw this, I can't remember which Disney vlogger mentioned it, but I'm so glad he did. So <clears throat> I went on Amazon immediately and bought them. These are the Biter Energy Cinnamon Flavor Boost Energy and Freshens Breath. Well, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have mass breath, guys. You need mints, you need gum, whatever you like. This is another twofer, okay? So I get the fresh breath for wearing my mask all day and an energy boost, which I will probably need towards the evening. So this is what that looks like. They have all different types of flavors. This is cinnamon, because I love cinnamon. I also love spearmint. So they have cinnamon, spearmint, wintergreen. I can't remember all of them. I always just took a string backpack, just the two rope strings that just cinches up. Really lightweight, easy. I love easy. Um, and I still do take that type of bag all the time when I go to Disneyland. But in Disney World, it's way more humid and hot. So this is my backpack. Okay, and we all have one like this. And inside, you see there's two zipper components, which I like too. But inside looks like this, it's insulated, and we have a water bladder. So I'm gonna fill that up with mostly ice and a little bit of water in the morning before I go. It just connects right there with the little Velcro so it holds it up, it doesn't sag in my bag. And I have water to drink all through the day. I drink a lot of water. So the beauty, this is another twofer, guys, you know I love twofers, right? The back of it, because it's full of ice, will feel like an ice block on your back. So it's, you're walking around, it's hot and muggy, and you've got cold ice on your back. It feels amazing, <laughs> let me tell you. Now, I called and asked, and they said that yes, we can still use the water hydration packs. Um, in the past, we've taken them, never had a problem with it. Uh, so we did call ahead and make sure that's okay, and they said yes, I uh, wasn't sure. But the reason I like this one, and it's hard to find that, is there's a second, so you got the water in this one, and the area in the second part that I can just put whatever I need to go in there. So you've got a pocket there for maybe the phone, you've got a zipper right there, so neat. There's not a whole lot of room in there, but enough to hold some things that I need to be held. Um, and then you've got this little front part right here. So you've got an extra one. You got something you could put in here. Now, what's really cool too is it wraps around. It's like like for hiking, you know, it's basically what it is. But this part wraps around on both sides, and you've got a zipper there. So I could, I did try to see if my phone would fit. It would not. Um, but I could put some small things like things I'm going to grab off in like my chapstick or whatever. Uh, in that little pack so it's accessible it's right on my side so I like that so that is the backpack that I'm taking my daughter has a more it's like a hologram mirror if that bag is super cool um, and my husband just has a regular old guy bag but um, we definitely know that when we go in the warm months we have to have something that's going to both cool us off and provide water all the time and I'll add a few more water bottles in there when I leave because I want to consume a lot of water now I did mention that it's my daughter's birthday on the trip and we're hoping to get the 
the birthday pin while we're there. It's a big thing of her. She likes to collect all the different pins for the different special trips. Uh, so I ordered these for my husband and I, and yes, they do have anniversary pins, but you're not always guaranteed that they're going to have them on hand when you go up and ask for them. So for my husband and I, our thing is up. That's our movie because we've always felt like um, Ellie and Carl are us. Like we were just like destined to me. We're so in love. And that is our story. Like if either one of us died. Ooh, that's such a morbid thought. Oh my gosh, I don't want to think about that. But if it ever happened, the other person would clearly be very just distraught and alone and lost. So let's think about the positive part about that marriage, okay? Um, so we, uh, on our honeymoon, we went to Disneyland. We had up themed shirts that said our adventure starts today and it had the date of our wedding. It was so cool. Everybody just commented on it. They really loved it. Um, so we're celebrating our second anniversary in the parks. So I got us both these matching pens. Jesse and Tina, that's us. Celebrating two years of adventure. And of course it's Carl and Ellie. Yay, so exciting. So we're excited to wear these pins. Um, I see the most creative pins in the parks and I love to see what people have and what they wear. So definitely packing that. Uh, let's see, am I forgetting? Oh, oh, okay. So I have a Poshmark closet. Um, I'll leave the link below in case you wanna snoop around, check it out, There's some neat stuff in there. Um, but I also love to shop on Poshmark on other people's closets. I like to see what they have. And they have the neatest Disney items. They have a lot of discontinued Disney items, which is what I'm always looking for. Collectible Disney items, things of that nature, clothing. I mean, oh my gosh, I just ordered two pairs of LuLaRoe Disney, like Minnie Mouse leggings, one for my daughter and one for myself for the trip. Um, I already ordered one pair of leggings from Plug the Aero Trend. They're awesome. They make super soft leggings. So I ordered a pair of those as well. Um, so now I'll have two pair of Disney leggings to wear. Um, but I, I was trying to think, what do I do about ears? So I have the cutest ears that are Disneyland ears. Um, I love ears. I love the way they look. I like to collect them. However, um, they, after a while, they just bother me. Like they sit right here behind the base of my skull and I don't know, it just bothers me. They, the mini ears really just bother me in the base of my skull and they're kind of painful. So as much as I love them, I like to collect them. If I wear them throughout the day, like I take them off after a few hours and put them in my bag. Well, as you can see, the small, the department, little compartment in my bag is kind of small. So I don't really have a lot of room to put a lot of items. So I said, one thing I know I can wear and it actually helps to keep me cool is a hat, a cap. So I ordered this on Poshmark and I love it so much. I'm gonna let you see. It's at Disney Parks Authentic. It still has a tag even sticking out of it right now. It's brand new. I think I paid $18 for it and it's worth so much more to me anyway. Um, it has Marie, one of my favorite cats in the entire universe. Marie, I love Marie. Uh, so you can see this adorable hat. Oh my gosh, look at this. Bonjour. It's got that cute bright pink trim. I love that bright pink. It's just like, I love it. And it's got the Eiffel Tower and that's kind of like jeweled as you can see there. Do you love that? I love the Eiffel Tower. I have a lot of like French inspired things in my home. Um, I like that it has the adjustable strap in the back and can you see what it says? It's probably looking backwards to you, but it says Epcot World Showcase. Inside, beautiful pink lining. So I, I just love it guys. I, I'm in love with this hat. So I cannot wait to wear it. Um, I even had a Marie shirt um, created on Etsy. Um, in fact, in the future, we're gonna do some fun ordering from Etsy, all Disney items, of course. And we're gonna go over like a review of the items that I ordered because there are some really amazing, talented people out there making cool stuff. So, but that's a whole nother episode. Anywho, on to what I was saying. Got my hat, that's gonna be my coverage. I will probably still buy a pair of ears while I'm there um, to wear a little bit, but I, I'm glad I have some kind of coverage for my head to keep me cool. Um, plus, this gives me shade, and that means I may not have to wear my sunglasses. Um, because think about it, you're wearing your mask, um, you're wearing sunglasses, you got ears, I mean, you've got all this stuff going on and a fan you're, I mean, it's just, oh gosh, that's a lot of stuff. 
So um, if I can like not wear sunglasses every day, I'm definitely gonna try. If I can just do the hat, that helps a lot with shades. So I am so stoked that I found that on Poshmark. I have found the neatest stuff on Poshmark, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I brought up the fan situation because again, Florida, hot. So we ordered these neck fans that we're going to wear. And I, you know, we only have to wear it in the hot part of the day. It won't really feel warm, but you see how compact they are. They just fold up like that. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you put it on. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I have this right. It might be upside down. Who knows? We will find out. But it's pretty lightweight. I don't, I feel it around my neck, but it's not super heavy. And then I adjust this however I want them to go. So I walk around like this, I've got air, boom, blowing right in my face. Helpful for wearing a mask where you can barely breathe. Um, you could put on more out like this if you wanted to or whatever, if you want it more closer to the face. I love that they're adjustable, so cool. So yeah, I got these for like $12.99 a piece on Amazon and major score like we are definitely wearing these yeah so that's everything guys um thank you for listening i know this was a really long video i did not plan for the video to be this long are you as excited as i am about this wishable oh my gosh love it so a lot more fun coming up i've got my bibbity box coming sometime later this week so we will have to unbox that and see what i get uh until then don't forget to subscribe today and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I appreciate you listening and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye guys.